Although we have um, some information from earlier sources on perfuming gloves, one of the first English sources is Margaret Baker's book, where she says to perfume gloves, you will take them and you will wash them in rose water. So what we're going to do today is just that. We're going to take these leather gloves and we're going to bathe them in rose water. So now I've got about uh, a quarter inch of rose water in the bottom of this plastic uh, disposable Tupperware and I am bathing the leather in it. So I'm not using a ton of rose water, but I am getting, <laughs> as I move the, the, the Tupperware around, I'm getting all of the leather wet, right? Just like you bathe your body, we're bathing the glove, right? <clears throat> All right, and then the second step is to hang them to dry. And so that's what we'll do once we finish bathing the other glove. So here we are. Um, the gloves have been bathed in rose water and they smell wonderful and they are dry overnight. So the second step uh, is to cover them in dried rose petals. So I have from Rose Mountain Herbs some organic dried rose petals. So I could make tea out of this, but instead, <laughs> right, I'm covering my gloves in them. So we're packing them into this container. I'm going to cover the rest of it in the rose petals and I will turn it over. I'm going to leave it in here for a couple of days. Um, so I'll leave them like this for now. I'm going to cover it. And then tomorrow I'll flip them over um, and uh, see how that goes. So the last step in the process is to take your gloves out of the roses. In period they would have had a paste um, but I have an oil so this is my oil with civet ambergris and musk tinctures that are synthetic um, because it is illegal in the US to have some of those things and so I found a reputable distributor so I'm trying a synthetic and what you would do is you would rub that paste of those ingredients all over these gloves. So what I'm gonna do is um, take this oil and spread it kind of all over the glove. And I'm gonna put them on so I can gently stretch them out. Ooh, this smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. it. Smells very softly sensual, so kind of like a sandalwood smell. Um, oh, it's not pungent. So when you think of like musk, um, don't think of like how it would smell to a deer when it's really, really strong. Think of how it would smell if you diluted it into an alcohol tincture or to a paste. Um, it's just very soft. 
That's, that's the best way I can describe it right now. It's very, very, very soft, like a sandalwood, um, but a little bit more sensual, which I love sandalwood. So the reason I didn't use linen or even like a cotton ball is because I wanted to make sure I didn't waste any of my oil um, at all. I wanted it all to either to go into this glove or to that glove. Um, okay, so they look really moisturized, um, kind of like when you apply a mink oil to maybe some leather boots that you have to condition them for the winter. Um, they have a nice uh, sheen to them. They smell great and they look great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably fold a little bit of this into some linen and I'll store these wrapped in that linen um, in a drawer. Hopefully whenever you guys get to see me in person next, I'll have these with me and you can smell them for yourselves. Thank you. Whoops. Well. <laughs> All right, so let me get my linen right now. <clears throat> I'll clean that up with my handkerchief with the enchanted ground badge on it from Crydoc. And I will store these in that.